Fish on. All right, fish on. We got a good one. I'm gonna pull my rod in the water. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Dripping and Ripping Fishing. My name is Trey, and if you're new to the channel, uh, we're we're a brand new channel. We just started putting out videos about two months ago. So uh, if you are new to the channel, uh, your support would be greatly appreciated. Go right below and you see that subscribe button. It's red right now. Just uh, hit that subscribe button. It'll turn gray and that'll mean you're subscribed to the channel. And if you hit the notification bell right next to it, it'll actually just give you a notification on your phone every time I post a video. So I only upload once a week. So I'm not gonna be spamming you with a bunch of notifications on your phone but it'll let you know when I have posted one. So like I said, uh, welcome. And uh, today we are out here at my favorite neighborhood pond and we're gonna try to get on some bass. A um, Little bit of an unconventional method, but uh, we have caught a bunch of bass here before on hot dogs. So I'm gonna put some hot dog lines out and uh, there's also big catfish in this pond. So we're gonna try to catch those too. We have already mixed up the jello and garlic mixture. I'm gonna cut open the pack of hot dogs and we're gonna slice them up and throw them in there and uh, we're gonna get started. Got one. There we go. What we got? Last time we were out here, we kept catching bass, so that's what we're hoping for today. Catfish. Nice. I don't catfish much, so I honestly don't even know how I'm supposed to handle these things seen a couple videos and I think you grab them right under here under their um, gill plate and uh, you shouldn't get barbed like that we got a nice catfish guys all right I'm gonna get some pictures and we're gonna get this back in the water and catch us another one these fish are surprisingly active today I have only been here for maybe maybe 20 minutes I've had probably five bites. Uh, only one of them committed though. All right, so we got one, guys. Let's reel in and set the hook. Oh, we yanked it right out of his mouth. Got another really small catfish. So, but I'm never gonna complain about catching a fish. That's for sure. So we're on the fish, but we're not getting any big ones. So I don't know if they're held up on the other end of the pond or if uh, we're just getting unlucky at this point. But we're gonna keep fishing and we're gonna get something bigger. So we're gonna get the hot dogs out of the water and we are gonna move this little shindig to the other side of the pond and see if the fish have moved on down that way. Uh, we, we had a ton of bites earlier and um, unfortunately they've kind of died off a little bit. So we wanna move down there and see if the fish are stacked up on the other end. Also, I've Texas rigged a hot dog. So I wanna get this in the water and pull it around a little bit on the bottom and see if we can't get one of the bigger ones to take a bite at it. All right, so we've got the Texas rig hot dog on there. And we're gonna cast it out a few times and see if we can get some fish to bite this. All right, well the Texas rig hot dog is no more. It uh, was just too heavy for the hook and it, it pulled right through the skin. I think 
you could probably actually do this with those little Vienna sausages because they do have a, a thicker skin. Might have to try that one day. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do that. I'll, uh, I'll be your guinea pig. All right, we're on. First one of the day on this one. Let me wait till I feel it again. Been setting the hook too early. All right, fish on. Feels small. This one's fighting though, but it is small. Another catfish. Uh oh. There we go. We're untangled. We're wrapped around that uh, cattail there for a second. That's three today though. You can't be mad at that. You're out here catching fish, so. Um, we're using hot dogs. I kind of expected we would catch some catfish, but last time we were out here, we were catching bass. So that's what I was really hoping for. Get the same bite we were last time, but hey, we'll take some catfish. All right, we're gonna get it back in the water now. All right, fish on. Here we go. I could not get this thing to commit and finally it took it. This is a good one. This is a good one. It's running back out. All right, come on over here. Oh, don't go up in there. There we go. Come on, this way. Oh, it's a bass, guys. Big old bass. That is what I'm talking about. It's exactly what I was talking about this whole time. We've been out here trying to find some bass. All right, so that's a good fish, guys. That fish was caught on a hot dog. A hot dog and a circle hook. So when it's cold outside and uh, the fish just aren't biting, if you've got a nice little spot like this, I mean, it's like, it's below 40 today and I'm just surrounded by trees. So there's not much wind and you know, the bite has been on. All right, so there we go. This is exciting, guys. So we've been out here all day. We've been catching catfish, little catfish, and then we hook into this bad boy. So this was, I mean, this is probably a two and a half, three pound bass caught on a hot dog and a circle hook. So like I said, when things are slow, just get out here, take your time, be patient, and let the fish do what they do, and that's eat. I'm excited about it. this is the biggest fish I've caught in this pond. Like I said, this is a friend's neighborhood pond and I'm just stoked to be allowed over here. And uh, they don't stock it. It's just, it's just a good pond. So um, the neighbors around here, they come out here and fish a lot of the kids and they catch catfish, but this is a nice fish. So we're gonna get this bad boy back in the water. Man, I look like I'm being super careful with them. That's because I am. I am not used to handling a catfish and I do not want to get stuck. It's the best one we've had today. It's not huge or anything, but these guys put up a fight. You hear them croaking? I'm gonna get it back in the water. So that is fish number five, six. Most of them have been catfish like this guy. Uh, this is the biggest one yet. But uh, that bass, man, that got us excited on the last one. And uh, the fish are starting to bite. Sun's starting to go down and uh, the bite's picking up. This felt like an absolute monster, and it's just a dink. This thing was fighting like crazy, man. I thought I had a big fish.
Guys, we got a fish on the other one. Let's hurry up and get this one off the hook. The bite is picking up. Oh, came off. We have to be out of here in about five minutes, so we're gonna see if we can get one more buzzer beater, and let's make it a bass. Oh, we got a good one. It's gonna pull my rod in the water. This is it, buzzer beater. The very last one of the day. It's running right at me, it's weird. It's gonna come out of the water. Oh, it's fighting. These catfish are on another level. Shoo, this is not a big catfish by any means. And that thing just put up a heck of a fight. That was fun. There we go. We got the buzzer beater, guys. Now, do we pull this other one out of the water or do we wait and see if we can get something to take that one too and then head out? I've only got a couple minutes. That was an awesome one. Like I said, I don't know what it is. These catfish are not big, but they fight like they are. It's crazy. All right, guys, well, that's gonna wrap it up for us. We had an awesome day. We caught a bunch of catfish and we caught a big old bass. I was so excited for that. I mean, we uh, we thought we were gonna come out here and catch some catfish. I mean, let's be real, we were, we were using hot dogs, but like I said last time, we caught some bass with it and I thought today was gonna be no different and uh, <laughs> came through in a clutch. We caught a big one. It's the biggest one we've caught here, okay? So um, I'm, I'm excited about it. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, about 79% of the people that view my videos are not actually subscribers. I, uh, we can do better than that. So if you like the video and you're still watching, hit that subscribe button. So see you guys next time on Gripping or Ripping.